Hi, I'm Mona. I'm one of the smartest girls you'll ever meet. Please like and subscribe. I was five years old when I was playing hide and seek with the neighbor's kids, and I got stung by some bees. My skin immediately started to swell, and moments later, I fainted. When I woke up, I found myself in the hospital. Your daughter has anaphylaxis, which is an extreme allergic reaction to bee stings, but that may not be all she's allergic to. You'll have to monitor her closely. After that, mom was terrified and she wouldn't let me play outside. She also decided to homeschool me. During our lessons together, she always told me I was a genius. I still felt sad about not going to a real school, till she told me the big secret. School's gonna take away your genius and make you dumb like the other kids, because that's what the government wants. I wasn't sure why the government wanted that, but I didn't want it happening to me. While mom was away working, I started making videos on YouTube to stay busy, and soon had some subscribers. Hello guys, it's your stay-at-home genius. Today, let's talk about the amazing periodic table. Who knew there were so many elements? Sometimes the comments on my video were quite mean. Literally every 11-year-old knows about the periodic table. Do us a favor and go to school. When I told mom about the comments, she always said those kids were just jealous. Once when I was 14, I saw a really pretty bird on my window frame and I tried to touch it, but I ended up falling out the window into a bush. Oh my God, I was outside. Just as I was about to run back in, my arms and face started to itch like crazy. I called out to mom who rushed me to the hospital. After the medicine, I was half asleep when I heard the doctor and mom talking. Your daughter's reaction happened because she's been indoors so much. Her immune system didn't develop properly. You have to let her join a school. But what about her condition? I've told you before, that's not how this works. What? The doctor told you to put me in school before, Mom? Honey, I, I did it to protect you. All these doctors, what do they really know? I was so upset. All these years, I'd been living like Rapunzel when I didn't need to. On the drive home, she continued to rant about the government. Mom, just stop it with your lies already. And guess what? I'm going to school. For days, mom tried to apologize, but I completely ignored her. Then she gave up and put me in school. On my first day, I struggled to hide my excitement. Just as I was about to jump out of the car, mom stopped me. You have every right to be angry, but you still have to be careful. Please, you need to wear this. It was a box of masks. Ugh, I didn't want to be some masked weirdo on my first day, but I also didn't want to get some bad reaction again. So I put one on. When I walked into my class, the teacher hadn't arrived yet, and I had the perfect opportunity to introduce myself. I climbed onto one of the tables. Greetings, my fellow classmates. I'm Mona, but some of you may know me as the stay-at-home genius. They all stopped talking. Great, I had their attention. As I start this new journey with you, I hope that you do not feel intimidated by my intelligence, and I look forward to helping you all. Shut up, weirdo. The entire class burst into laughter. Everyone was still snickering when the teacher walked in. They were all jerks, but I was going to show them. Who can tell me how many planets we have in the solar system? Uh, me, sir. Nine. Um, eight, actually. Uh, Pluto isn't a planet anymore. What? Since when? Since forever, Miss Genius. And I soon discovered the strangest thing. I seemed like I was behind in every subject. I was dumb. At the end of the day, one of the teachers called me aside. We've observed that sometimes homeschooled students struggle to keep up. You may need to be placed in another class more suitable for your abilities. But this is the class I should be in. Yes, but you have to take a performance test at the end of the semester so we can be confident you can cope. She handed me some study materials and I headed home. I couldn't get over the fact that my whole life had been a lie. I'm not really a genius, am I? Oh, baby, you'll always be my little genius. You've ruined my life, Mom! I stormed off to my room and cried myself to sleep. The next day at school, I was heading towards the library when I felt something hit me with force, and I fell down. I saw a boy named Ken from my class on a skateboard. Are you crazy? Who uses a skateboard in the hallway? Oh, look, it's the genius. If you hadn't stayed home your whole life, you'd know that all the cool people skate in the hallways. I just ignored him, but from that day on, 
Ken started joining me at lunch without an invitation. He was a mess who spent half his time in detention. But he was kind of funny, and I didn't mind not eating alone. The next few days, I spent every spare moment in the library preparing for the test. But I just felt lost. One day, I got so frustrated over some math equations that I started to cry. I was going to be sent to a class with kids half my age. Suddenly, I felt a hand on my shoulder and I jumped. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Is everything okay? Seeing this handsome stranger being nice to me made me cry all over again. I, I can't seem to figure any of these out. I'm so stupid. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. His name was Brad and he was a senior. He became my guardian angel as he helped me study every day. And I just couldn't help having a crush on him. But Brad had some strange rules. We could only talk or meet after school, and at other times, he'd act like I didn't even exist. One day, we ended up studying till quite late, and the school was empty as we were leaving. Suddenly, he took my hand, and my heart skipped a beat. But then, I pulled away. Why do you act like you don't know me in school, Brad? Are you ashamed of being seen with me? It's not like that, Mona. My friends, they're not the nicest people. They don't even know you right now, but if I introduced you to them, I'm afraid they'd be rather mean to you. They usually are to anyone who's a bit uh, different. You mean odd, weird, but different. And I like that about you. Suddenly, he pulled me close and said he wanted to see the face behind the mask. Wow, you're even prettier than I imagined. He kissed me softly on the lips, and it was wonderful. One afternoon, I was sitting alone and watching Brad with his friends when Ken joined me. If you stare hard enough, you'll probably dig a hole in his back. I don't know what you're talking about. If you insist. You want to hang out later? Nah, I'll pass. Maybe some other time. I had decided just then that I was tired of only watching Brad. I had to show him that I was cool enough to hang out at his table. The next morning, I woke up super early to do my makeup. And when mom dropped me off at school, I took off my mask. Mom had lied about a lot of things, so who said I really needed the mask? And I could feel all eyes on me as I walked in. Even Brad kept staring at me during recess, and he was so lost that he accidentally spilled juice on himself. Could this day get any better? Well, well, who do we have here? Mona, 2.0. Interesting, she's pretty. That day, Ken and I didn't eat alone. Other people joined our table and everyone seemed keen to talk to me. And the best part was, my allergies weren't acting up. Just then, a girl offered me some chips. And a moment later, my worst nightmare came true. I could feel my throat closing up. I felt the entire school watching me as I fell to the ground. I could hear panicked voices all around me. But just then, someone jabbed me with my EpiPen. Ken had taken it from my bag and saved me. He helped me up and I immediately felt better. Till I noticed Brad. He hadn't even moved from his spot. What the heck? I felt really disappointed. So I returned to school with my mask the next day. I couldn't make Brad care about me, and hiding behind the mask just felt more comfortable now. But later that day, Brad bailed on me for our lesson at the library, and I felt really mad. I stormed into the gym where he was playing basketball, and I didn't care that people were watching. You just sat there and watched me struggle to breathe yesterday, and did nothing. Um, do I even know you? Stop pretending, Brad. You've been my friend for months. More than that. You even kissed me the other day. <laughs> what? Me kiss you? <laughs> In your dreams, loser. Why would I kiss you when I have the prettiest girlfriend ever? Girlfriend? It finally made sense. He was always hiding because he didn't want to be seen by his girlfriend. I was so upset and slapped him real hard. You are a terrible person. But the next day, everyone was calling me a crazy liar. I was really beginning to hate high school, and I just wanted to go back to my old homeschooled life. I thought mom would be delighted to hear, but to my surprise, she refused. Listen, Mona, when I was younger, I lost my best friend to a condition like yours, which made me so scared when you got it. I thought hiding you away was going to protect you, but I was wrong. Running from your problems never solves them. You're so selfish, mom. You just make me do whatever you want, when you want. Sometimes, I think I hate you. I took the picture of us on the fireplace and flung it at the wall. Mom yelled at me after that, but I just stormed off to my room. 
and I refused to go to school the next day. But later, as I was watching MSA videos in bed, someone tapped on my window. It was Ken. Get off your butt, princess. I'm here to quiz you. What do you mean? You're not gonna hide out here. You're gonna take that test. And you're gonna stay in my class. Because I find it really hard to make friends. You got that? Ken really was an amazing friend. And I thought about what mom said too. Why should I quit school? I was gonna show everyone I deserved to be there. At school, I didn't really care about the stares and whispers anymore, but I still couldn't stop feeling stupid about Brad. Why did he do that to me? One day, I walked into the science lab and found him there, and I just couldn't stop myself from confronting him. And he laughed. Look, I was just bored. None of the girls pay attention to me because I've been with the same girlfriend forever. But you didn't know, and I thought I'd have some fun with that. We still can, you know. I wouldn't mind kissing you again. Just then, his girlfriend entered and gave him a tight slap. Soon the entire school knew his girlfriend had dumped his butt for being a jerk. I was totally focused on my test now, and studying with Ken became a routine. One day when he was over, I asked him, what would you do if you had the chance to be anything? Join the Riker skateboard competition. I don't care if I win, I just wanna be there. It's so cool. Then go for it. My dad won't let me. He says it's a pathetic waste of time. The day of the test finally came, and after completing it, I nervously watched as the teacher graded it. Wow, this is impressive, Mona. Congratulations, you passed. I gave the teacher a big hug and ran to find Ken. I had a special thank you gift for him, but when I found him, the principal was yelling at him in the hallway. Your continued disregard for the rules has brought nothing but disgrace to me. Yeah, no kidding, Dad. Dad? I followed him outside and found him sitting under a tree. So, the principal is your dad? Yep, and you just saw for yourself what a disappointment I am to him. Listen, I gotta tell you something. Don't be mad, but I applied to the Rikers competition on your behalf. I sent them that crazy stunt video you have on Facebook, and they want you to participate. You've been watching out for me since I got here, Ken. Let me help you talk to your dad. Can we try, please? I could see tears in his eyes as I spoke, and then suddenly, he held my face and kissed me. I felt a million butterflies erupt in my tummy. That day when I got home, I found Mom sitting in the kitchen, and I hugged her from behind. I owe you an apology, Mom. I was a jerk. Thank you for not letting me quit. I'm just trying to make things right, honey. You're on the right track.